So a couple of weeks ago, I dropped this video here, and this video right here that you guys see is a video about how to get paid watching YouTube videos. And it was this about this upcoming plugin called X Academy. And I said how I was very optimistic about this plugin and that if you were a part of the initial uh, seed SHO, or rather the initial fundraise, uh, where they were launching at 10 cents, I said how I was very bullish about this investment and how I made this investment and I recommended those of you do your research and because you might want to do that as well. So, a couple of weeks has passed, this coin just launched and it is a couple of days old and right now, this is the price for XCAD. Now, this price right now is at about $2. So it has about 20X. Now, this video is talking about how 100X. Now, I wanted to you know, put this out there, but there was a point in time for a couple of minutes where it actually hit an all-time high. You take a look at this of approximately, my face is actually kind of blocking it. If I can just move my picture on the top left over here. So take a look at this, okay? So you can see that at its all time high when it just launched, it was at $10. So for that initial launch for a couple of minutes, in fact, there were many people that paid over $10. So first lesson here, what does it mean? It means that any launch always let the price stabilize. A lot of people lost big time if they bought at the launch because that was and, and it's all automated i mean this you know it's all just s supply and demand right and 10 cents became 10 dollars and that would be 100x but right now you can see it's kind of stabilized at approximately two dollars so that means if you bought in at that initial 10 cents and if you allocated the maximum amount which is 750 dollars that 750 dollars would be worth about fifteen thousand dollars today nice. and for those of you that watch my videos or watch that particular video but much more than that if you actually took action congratulations you would have made a pretty good uh 20x return so this video what is this video all about this video is all about well number one where do i foresee this the potential of this. What does it mean when KSI and Mr. Beast and other YouTubers that's way bigger in this channel actually jump on? And ultimately, how I think about predictions. Now, first of all, is am I always right? Absolutely not, right? I mean, you, anybody can flip a coin and make a prediction, but ultimately, it's all about how do you, you make more consistent wins than losses right so i have made a ton of wrong calls but you know hopefully when when i do make the right one it's a lot more often than the wrong ones right so i want to be able to also walk you through my thought process how i think about projects so it's not about this particular coin but also about the thinking and the mindset of hopefully if you stay till the end of this video you'll be able to be equipped about making these decisions as well Okay, so when it comes to this particular coin, what am I bullish about this? It is because being a creator, um, I understand and I know what type of problems creators usually have in this space. And you can see that XCAT Network, they, they officially got in KSI and Mr. Beast to have them invested into XCAT. And ultimately, they are the biggest YouTubers in the UK as well as the US with over 80 million subscribers. And there's going to be a lot more people coming in, assuming that this project goes smoothly. So I want to be able to walk you through who I think the winners are going to be and ultimately what it is that you could be doing. So whether you are an investor in crypto, whether you're not an investor in crypto, whether you're a content creator, whether you create content on YouTube, or whether you're just somebody who watches you, videos on YouTube, how you can benefit from this thing that's happening regardless of what situation you're in. Okay, so in order to explain and to show you where I think this uh, is going to be, I first have to explain to you, first of all, why I'm still holding on to these coins and, and what I think about this, uh, the future of this. Now, one thing I want to be very clear about is that this is not, I'm not affiliated with X Academy. This is not a paid review. I'm not getting a single cent from XCAD, even though I should be. You know, guys, if you guys, any of you guys watching from XCAD, and if you guys want to pay me money, go ahead, send some over. <laughs> no, but, but ultimately, guys, all of my YouTube videos, if I've ever reviewed any coin right up to this point, none of them are, are biased reviews. None of them are paid. In the future, 
if I ever take on any of these deals, which I doubt I would, I've, had, I've received many of these different offers from many of these, for lack of a better word, uh, shit coins. You know, I've, I've never taken on any of them because that's when, you know, it's highly risky and I think it's highly unethical as well. Uh, understand th that this is not a paid review. I'm not affiliated with X Academy and hopefully that this perspective will be able to help you make that informed decision as well. Okay, so that being said, let's talk about what X Academy is. I've covered that in that quite a bit in a previous video, but a couple of things has changed. So I want to be able to give you an update how you'll be able to benefit as this um, from this as well. Okay, so I understand that for those of you that's watching this video, there's gonna be like the three main categories. Now this category number one is you're just somebody who watches YouTube videos. Okay, number two, uh, second category is you could be a content creator on YouTube and you're thinking about growing, getting a bigger reach, monetizing better. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through how you can do it as well. And number three, it could be the case that you're thinking about making money by investing in crypto and that's you. Um, I'm gonna walk you through that thought process. And which, by the way, if you like and enjoy these type of videos, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Okay, so end of commercial break. Uh, let's head back to this video. So when you take a look at what this thing is about, first got to understand, well, what's the direction? Okay, the whole goal is to make it a win for these different parties. Okay, the first one is for monetization for creators. So what this means is you're going to hear this terminology that says, you know, to tokenize creators and tokenize content. And the first time I ever heard of it, it's like, I didn't even know what it me meant, but everybody seemed to like understood what it means, but I didn't, okay? So I wanna be able to explain to you in a way that I wish somebody would have explained it to me when I was first starting out. So what does this mean? It means, it means this. Imagine that as you are watching this video right now, imagine that there was this toolbar that was recording the fact that you were, you were watching this video, how long you spent, how, how much time you were on this channel, on this video, and for every second that you're watching this video, you're racking up credits, okay? That's being tracked by this specific toolbar. And at the end of it all, after you watched this video, you would be given credits. And the longer you watched this video or this channel, you would be getting some for example, a Ping Jun token, okay? And what if you could be, just so think about your favorite creator on YouTube. What if it was whoever, Mr. Beast or KSI or whoever that you like, imagine if they were part of X Academy and for every video that you watched, you were getting their Mr. Beast tokens. So the question is, what can you do with these tokens and what are different potential and what is the direction of social media okay so when you understand this this is when you'll be able to really understand how to make that informed decision uh whether you're a creator whether you're an audience whether you are a investor okay so so this means that creators will be able to mint their own token to reward viewers like what i mentioned okay so this means that creators unlock their own creator tokens as they hit different milestones so what does this mean so in order to kind of prevent spam which is what I'm guessing the purpose of this is, this thing right here is so that you can't, you know, the barriers of entry, they make it so that perhaps to get started, maybe you need a thousand subscribers, right? 10,000 subscribers. And as you hit these different milestones, which is not revealed yet, you'll be able to do different things. So on top of that, why would a creator want to do this so that it can increase their watch time, which is one of the big three factors when it comes to growing any channel. YouTube looks at, you know, your click-through rate, your retention as well as your watch time which is huge so the longer the watch time is the more youtube algorithm will reward the creator by recommending it to more people and ultimately this is when um you based on the tokens that's when the creator can offer their own merch their own nfts which we'll talk about um as well as when it comes to voting on upcoming content so can you imagine if for example like this channel over here um maybe it could be the case that if you held a specific NFT that the creator creates, maybe I, I might create an NFT where it says, you know, a different, ho uh, the, the holder of this NFT will be able to uh, join me for a, for a mastermind. Maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one session. Maybe it's to come for an upcoming training. So this is to give you ideas, if you are a creator, different ways that you can engage your audience and allow them to be a part of it. Now, some of you could be going, well, Ping Jun, I don't intend to be any a YouTuber. I'm not a content creator, so what's the big deal, okay? So think about this 
other side of the equation, right? So this could be you as the viewer, the person that is watching this video right now. So it says here, viewers get rewarded without changing their user experience. So this is where, you know, through this token, you'll, through this platform, you'll be able to acquire creator tokens, right? So you could be getting these, you know, Mr. B's tokens, Ping Jun tokens. Um, and this is the, po the part, okay, that kind of ties in with crypto. Now, what is huge is that, first of all, you could be experiencing this from a non-crypto perspective as well as from a crypto perspective, right? So you could be, uh, right up to this point, like nothing to do with crypto, you're just watching videos and you're getting rewarded tokens. And with these tokens, you could utilize it to redeem merch, you could utilize it to redeem NFTs, you could utilize it to vote for upcoming content that you wanna be able to see. But what's powerful is you can now utilize this into the crypto world. Now in the crypto world, what does it mean? You can actually take these tokens and stake them into pools to earn rewards. So think of it as kind of like, imagine now you're getting these, you know, non-existent Ping Jun tokens, and you can take these Ping Jun tokens and put them in pools so that you can either get back more tokens or to earn rewards just by watching content. Okay, so now I don't wanna dive into, you know, how liquidity pools work and ultimately why there's a return. Um, but if you wanna be able to understand more about how this works, be sure to watch my other recommended videos at the end of this video. Okay, so ultimately with these tokens, you can utilize it to get merch, you know, shout outs, um, exclusive content. And there'll also be this thing uh, where there is uh, governance, meaning you'll be able to vote on ideas as well as decisions involving the channel. Okay, so now what's what's powerful about this is that this is going to be an absolute game changer in the content creation world. It's going to be a game changer for social media platforms if it takes off. Now, that being said, there are a few key concerns that I do have, which I will talk about. Right up to this point, there is one main key concern that I've brought up in my previous video that I haven't seen to, I try to reach out to X Academy staff and nobody seemed to have an answer. And so this, by the way, is a big worry. And here's the thing. So right up to this point, this toolbar, which is getting rewarded for watching a video, is not necessarily a new thing. In the non-crypto world, there has been many toolbars and companies that were a toolbar that rewarded people for watching YouTube videos where they would get credits. And there was a few things that happened. Okay, number one, YouTube did not like this and YouTube wanted to shut them, the toolbar down. There are a few different toolbars that tried to do this and they did it well for a couple of months. And because YouTube wanted to go after the toolbars and the toolbar creators just, you know, didn't care. What YouTube did is they went after the YouTube creators instead rather than the toolbar creators. And YouTube started penalizing any of the creators that either motivated their audience to utilize the toolbar and penalize them in one way, shape or form. So because they got nerfed, guess what? These creators stopped utilizing and promoting the, the toolbar and eventually people stopped utilizing these toolbars. So. This is a big issue and I'm, I'm, and I'm guessing, okay, this speculation that somebody as big as X Academy, the way they are now with the backing that they have from the, from the different, you know, Zilliqa communities, which is a huge, you know, crypto community. I am guessing that they would have thought about this. I'm not sure if they have. Again, I've reached out multiple times, but I couldn't seem to get a straight answer from them. So X Academy, if you guys have a solution, you know, please reach out. I would love to hear your opinion on this because this is the one thing that is stopping me from really going all out into this, okay? So that's one of my concerns and I believe, that, and, and by the way, I didn't see anybody bring this up. You know, the people that's really into this, everybody is just, you know, into the pump. Everybody is just, oh, this thing's gonna go to the moon without really questioning, you know, what are the, the merits as well as the downside. So that, that by the way, is still a huge downside that I haven't, ha haven't got an answer to yet. So do your due diligence, look out for if they ever, you know, come up with the answer to this. Um, because if the answer is, well, YouTube's not gonna know because it's a third, you know, third party independent thing, uh, that's not gonna roll, all right? YouTube eventually is gonna find out that, you know, this toolbar tries to game the system and it's, you know, it's gonna be a lose for all parties. Okay, so that being said, uh, what else is there? 
there's going to be the NFT marketplace. So can you imagine, so what is the NFT? Imagine that the, your, the YouTuber that you follow, imagine if they had this marketplace for the most meaningful content done and repurposed into kind of like a collectible. So think of it as like a moment. So imagine if, let's take Mr. Beast. Imagine if he took his first ever video that he did and he made it into like a virtual trading card because it's linked to the blockchain. He could certify and show, look, there's only say 100 of these. Maybe there's only five of these. Maybe there's only one of that, right? So now they will be able to turn their most epic videos or moments into collectibles that can be verified on a blockchain that there really is just this limited amount. And that's how they can, that's what it means by tokenizing their content, okay? And the crazy thing is because of smart contracts, take a look at this, creators will earn passive income every time an NFT is traded. So imagine if a creator says, you know what, I'm gonna create this NFT so let's say, imagine me, right? I could create this NFT that says, this is an NFT of this moment right now. Let's take like, let's take like this exact moment of me with my both hands up like this, looking at your, in the fake camera right now. And let's say this was an NFT, okay? And this is the NFT going, and, and it says, you know, everybody, anybody that holds this specific NFT, and there's maybe, you know, 50 of them, you know, anybody that holds this NFT, um, every single year, they will be able to redeem uh, a ticket to this specific live event, right? For example, which by the way is what Gary V did with his NFTs, right? Anybody that holds his token will be able to go to his Gary V con, right? His V con for the next three years. So by holding this NFT, there's utility to it. But on top of that, every time you sell it, guess what? The creator is going to get a percentage for life, right? And that's very powerful. It's a game changer for not just collectors, for audiences, but also creators. So. I could keep going on. They have things like the moments, the, the, the packs, right? So this is where you go. You, you could have like, you know, the epic, the legendary, the rares, depending on how epic those moments is. Again, just think of it as like collectible cards, but now it's all virtual. And this is the ecosystem is that, so now think of it as, you know, all of different parties, right? You could be earning, you could be trading these tokens through the XCAD plugin. So every creator would have their own coin. So this is a little bit dark, but I don't know if you've ever watched like Black Mirror. This kind of plugin is kind of taking us to that direction where every creator now is like a stock, right? They're going to have their own valuation um, and this is going to be on the future phases of the project as well. But every creator, every influencer that you watch, they naturally, they would have their own tokens and each of their tokens would have their own price associated to it. And that's going to be constantly traded, okay? And that, that is going to be eventually reported on this website over here. There's going to be a marketplace for it. And that is why people who are in this market right now are extremely bullish. And one thing that I want to mention is that the CEO of Zilliqa is one of the advisors. Now, what is Zilliqa? Uh, Zilliqa is a top 50 coin. Well, last I checked, it was like 52. It's a coin that I, have, I personally believe has got a lot of potential, but one thing that they have done is Zilliqa would not want this project to fail because they are an, a huge investor in the initial round. So that tells me that they have big backing as well. And I always, when I think about investing in projects, I'm not just thinking about the idea, but I'm thinking about the people behind it as well. So this gives me a lot of confidence in terms of the people behind it, who the investors are. And finally, I want to be able to walk you through. So what is the potential of this since this has already you know 20 x since this initial video that i shown you a couple of weeks back now in most cases whenever i say something is already pumped i always say avoid it right but this is has only been live for a couple of days and i want to walk you through where where i foresee this thing's going to be okay so there so this coin right now is being traded on a few different platforms now on coin market cap, you can see that the current price for XCAD is about $2.12. So from the initial seed round of 10 cents, it's now $2.12. And you can see that initially, you know, it kind of it's kind of stabilized between two and two fifty, okay, in the last one week since it's launched. However, this coin is launched on different platforms, and like I said, a platform that it's also launched is in is in on in the Zilliqa community. Now, what is Zilliqa? Zilliqa, think of it as kind of like its own platform where you trade utilizing their currency called Zil. Now, one of the reasons why Zilliqa is a huge investor in this project is because they want to be able to get people 
onto the Zilliqa platform. So this Zilliqa platform, right now, it's independent of the main trading platforms. So it's not connected to like, for example, the Ethereum network, okay? So what it means is that you'll notice the price of XCAD in the Zilliqa community on that platform is $3.87, even though right now it's $2. Now, by the time you're watching this video, it could be a couple of months from now, weeks from now, it does not matter. It's about how do you think about this, okay? Now, this is where initially, right, you might think, oh, wait, wait a second, why don't I just arbitrage and buy it from this platform at $2 and sell it at this platform for $3.87? Well, you can't do that. It's because right now there are two different, you can't transfer money from this platform to this platform. Why? Because Zilliqa and Ethereum, they don't talk to each other. They're like a totally different platform until this thing called the Poly Network Bridge for Zilliqa is launched, which is supposed to be, you know, in Q2, okay? Which is, maybe they've moved to Q3 now, but basically in a couple of months. Now, here's how I think about this. So every time I think about gaps in the market, well, the question is, is it going to be eventually following this price here at 387 is it going to drop down to $2.12 or is it going to meet somewhere in the middle is it going to be even higher well the way i think about this is that first of all this tells me that this over here is the base price now don't get me wrong there could be a market correction because you know people did get in at 10 cents during the initial launch but guess what based on the market that we're in right now a lot of it is just based on speculation and hype and a narrative so the narrative, you think about that over fundamentals, because fundamentals has left the window a long time ago, okay? Now, what does this mean? I'm always thinking about the narrative whenever I'm investing. It means that, well, what are people gonna be talking about and what's the next talking point? And what's the next talking point? And what's the next talking point? So, and based on the next talking point, you'll be able to determine like where the price is because when the thing has usually happened, it's usually too late. So, so let me give you an example. For example, think about this. A very big narrative for all type of coins is always the fact that, oh, it's gonna get you know listed in, in Binance soon, right? When Binance, when Binance, right? And you gotta notice that for a lot of coins, usually when it's listed, that's when the price tanks, right? It's why? Because the price has already been factored in beforehand. So in most cases, I'm not thinking about the thing when it happens, because when it happens, it's usually too late. It's usually before and what's the narrative. And when that narrative happens, is there a narrative for the next thing? Okay, and, th and that's basically how to understand whether you're too late or too early. Okay, so it's not about this coin, it's about how to think about these th type of things. So what's the narrative gonna be? Well, for the people that's in it, the narrative is number one, well, the toolbar is gonna be coming out, the toolbar is gonna be coming out. And usually when people download the toolbar, they're gonna be rewarded for these coins. When that narrative happens, guess what? That's when price is gonna go up. Now, next thing, when that happens, that's usually when there's gonna be a correction. And when people start downloading it, they're gonna realize, oh, wait a second, it might not be that big of a deal, yada, 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 right? Who knows? But then we gotta think about, well, what's the next narrative? Next narrative is, well, there's gonna be all these different YouTubers like Mr. Beast and KSI, who seems to be already on board, and that is gonna skyrocket and increase the adoption rate, right? That's the narrative. And we gotta think about, well, that's probably gonna be the peak of things. And if you are a trader, if you're not somebody that, that you know, intends to hold on to this, that's probably the time to be able to sell before they're even on. If you want to be able to be always ahead of the curve, think about the upcoming narrative and try to get out if you are a trader before that thing actually happens because that's the thing that's driving the price up, not the thing itself. Does that make sense? So when it comes to this specific coin here, what is another thing that I'm thinking about? It is the coin, the underlying coin that I'm always thinking about what is the ecosystem that benefits from this? So for example, Zilliqa, Zil, that coin itself as well, is going to be somebody that benefits from this in the event if XCAD really takes off. But right now, like I said, there's still a few of those, these different limitations. Over the upcoming weeks, I'm going to be watching really closely to how they deal with this whole YouTube issue because if in the event YouTube puts the band hammer, then it's gonna be all over for everybody. So that is one big question mark that is still not answer yet and i would love to be able to see what it is that they say so guys if you're enjoying this video right now let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts do you think this has got a lot of potential do you think it's a great idea do you think it's a bad idea let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed this video if you've gotten value please smash the like button it does help this channel out and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to be able to get the latest news just like this one so that you never get left out